Ling was released in the late 2019 and it's almost 4 years now but there is a still very lace player who has mastered Ling. He is a hero who needs a lot of practice and experience too. Without his small help from others, it will take a lot of time to master him. And finally, here we are to guide you guys in every way. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we will cover all the aspects of Ling and help you guys to know what to do when playing Ling. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating. And similarly, this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. Here are some points that we are going to talk about in this video. Why do we always need blue buff before a team fight? How energy restoration works? Combo and tips Secret tips to pick up all swords from his ultimate. What to do in a losing situation. Items and emblems. I'm not gonna explain any more about his skills as Ling has already been here for a long time and every player knows about his skill. Let's now talk about why we always need blue buff before the team fight. As we all know, Ling's need to dash in and out of the fight. And to do that, you need to use your skill which needs to use energy. And when we take the blue buff, it reduces 25% of energy used. Which will let you give more chances to use skill. We can also join a fight without buff but it will likely fail as you can't help your team with the best you can. So taking buff before the fight is a must for lane. How Ling Energy Restoration Works He restores a small amount of energy every second but it can be restored faster in two ways. The first is to stay up on the wall which restores 4 extra energy every second. And other one is to deal damage to enemies which restores 5 extra energy for every hit. When we use ultimate, he drops 4 tempest blades. If we collect those, it restores 25 energy and also resets his skill 2 cooldown, which lets us use his skill 2 up to 5 times if we can collect all the swords. But it's not possible to do it without blue buff, as he will run out of energy even if you can collect all the swords. Link skill 2 cost 40 energy and collecting 1 tempest of blades you get 25 and hitting the enemy which means you get around roughly 30 to 35 energy points. You will be able to collect 1 or 2 swords but not all 4. While when you have blue buff the energy cost is down to 30 which means you are getting more energy than what you need. Next will be his combo and tips. Well I would say there is no exact combo to use when playing Ling as we have for Gushan and other heroes. But here are some combo and tips on when to use every skill that will help you a lot. To use any of Ling's skills, it is always situational and depends on different situations. When turret diving alone, dive in from the wall and if you know that the enemies are hard to kill, try to deal damage as much as you can and take the turret damage too before using ultimate. So you can decide to either kill or back off when using ultimate. But if you are diving against heroes that have CC, try to use your ultimate as fast as you can so that you won't get stunned and die inside the turret. If you are looking for 100% safe and secure diamonds, Kazuki official store is here to fulfill your need. We are trusted by more than 100 KMLBB players from India, Philippines and Europe. Do visit our website and browse between various packs. 
Next will be when contesting turtle or lord. If the enemy's jungler is alive, then make sure that your tank goes in first as Ling is squishy and the enemies might caught you off guard if you go in first. As every assassin is squishy, Ling has a hard time against CC. Let your tank go in first then you can join the fight later when the enemies have used all their CC skills. Let's move on to the next point which is how to collect all his swords after using ultimate. This is the hardest part when using Ling. Even if you have learned for a long time, there are load of possibilities that you might miss. But let me tell you guys some tips to collect your blades more easily. When you use ultimate, you can already see where the blades will land. So make sure that you start to aim around this point. If you aim directly at here, you won't be able to collect all the swords just like this. Drag it around this point and you will be able to collect all your blades. And the hard part is doing it fast without missing. If you are learning Ling, then you can do this in the practice mode for 5 to 10 minutes every day to improve your speed and muscle memory. And not only that, but you also have to play load of matches with Ling as getting a hold of it takes time. Next we will talk about things to do in a losing situation. The best option will be to split push turrets. As a jungler you are primarily the main target in team fights as you are very agile and will be the most difficult to catch. You can use Ling to create a fake team fight scenario to lure your enemies to a team fight and use his mobility to cover the distances in lanes and split push. Link can destroy turrets very fast and can come out easily if the enemy decides to protect the lane and prioritize other objectives. Ling is an excellent split pusher and creates a headache for the enemy if they are very team fight oriented heroes as they will be forced to clear the lanes before joining any team fight. Next will be items and emblems. Any item in the game is always situational as every item has its own unique passive. Understanding which passives works the best with certain heroes is a must for every player. Ling's passive has a 2 time crit chance from all sources so building items like Berserker's Fury will guarantee a critical strike every 2 basic attacks and skills. Ling needs to burst down or finish off the enemy backline. So building items like Blade of Despair and the Endless Battle will give him a much needed attack scaling increasing his base damage output. You can opt for Wind Choker if the enemy has a squishy lineup or go for Demon Hunter Sword and Malefic Roar if the enemy has a tanky lineup. Additional point. Swift crossbow to get decent attack speed without spending much gold on a complete item early. A defense item like Immortality or Winter Truncheon to survive any unexpected ambush. For emblems you can opt for Killing Spree if you want to play aggressively or Demon Slayer if you want to focus on objectives. Are you guys gonna start playing Ling? Do comment down below if you guys love playing Ling. And with that, here are the 5 shoutouts from our previous video. Prentosh, Eudora Pro, Santa BG, Lidge and Main Official. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.